adapters. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install plugins, VSTs, as well as effects plugins in FL Studio. ImageLine have updated FL Studio and some text and things and format changes. So this is gonna be the updated version. The first thing we're gonna do is just jump over to Plugin Boutique and we're just gonna grab this as a free plugin. Once that's downloaded, launch yourselves FL Studio. So firstly, we need to install that plugin. So for me, it lands here in my downloads folder. Got the fat installer version here. Just gonna right click on that and we are gonna open with installer. And it's gonna ask me if I do want to open that plugin. We're gonna say open, get rid of the download folder and we need to install. So we've got our license agreement, no comment, need to read through that and then choose what you're gonna do. And on Mac, it skips over destination. On PC, you need to choose your destination, wherever your plugin folder is going to be. That is completely up to you. You can absolutely use the default location, which will generally be correct. Installation type is gonna be where we can change location on Mac. I'm gonna just use the default. It's gonna go install, pop in my password, and that is now fat filter installed. I'm gonna move that installer to the trash, job done. So now to get it added to F FL Studio. So now to get it added to FL Studio, in the top left hand corner, we've got add. We're gonna click on add and we're gonna click on more plugins. This is going to open our plugin manager. It is select generator plugin at the top. Right at the bottom here, we also have find and that will help us find any of the things we've currently got installed. What we need to do is manage plugins to find the new one that we've just installed. Manage plugins is down here in the right hand corner. You'll be presented with this window here. You need to know what type of plugin you have just installed and your plugin path and the locations are all located just here on the left hand side. We've got VSTs, FL plugins, various other VST folders, VST3 folder as well, and the FL Studio folder location as well. So we need to scan to find this new plugin. Some useful things that I will generally do, I'm gonna switch off verify plugins because I know I've only installed one new thing. Everything else in here is working fine. I'm gonna do try to prevent pop-up windows. So any pop-ups and authorizations should get scanned skipped over as well. And I don't need to rescan any plugins in this case. So we're just gonna do that and we are gonna hit find plugins and let it do its thing. So once our scan has finished, we should be able to see our latest plugins that have been added. Right at the top here that we've got the fat filter. It's just here. Now, anything that we wanna make sure we add, we need to generally tag. So we're gonna tag the VST3 version of it here and it tags both four of us. And then we just do that by hitting the star next to it just here. And if you wanted to, where it says options and plugin, you can actually rename what you're gonna find it as. At the moment, it's just called FAT, not that useful for me. So I'm gonna put filter in. So just at a glance, I know what it is. Apply changes and it's now going to be called a fat filter. We'll do the same to the VST version. So now that's going to be in my main plugin list. We can close away our plugin manager here. And if we go up to the top again, so the top left hand corner, we're going to hit add, going to go more plugins. Now, right at the top here, look, we've got fat filter. So up here, I'm again going to star the top one and putting that little star next to it, it's just gonna help us find that a lot easier. If you can't find your plugin in the list, go down to the bottom, down to find, type FAT, and it's gonna filter out whatever your plugin name is for you. And obviously, I just called it Fat Filter. It's now the only one that shows up with FAT in there. Now, because we've starred it, we're gonna be able to add that in here as well. So if I hit the Add menu as such and just tap F, you can see here it's just highlighted Fat Filter for us. The same applies on the Mixer channel slot. So if we go to slot one here. Um, it brings up our plugin list. I can just tap F and it's going to help us find the fat filter. And it's just there. There we go. And there is our fat filter added in. Now, if we want to add this to the plugin picker, it's really useful to add it into the mixer channel. Just here where it says FAT, there's a small arrow next to it. We're going to click on that. We're going to add to plugin database in brackets, flag as favorite. When we click that, it's gonna open up our menu on the side here and it's gonna say where you want to add it. Now we don't wanna add it to stereo, so we're gonna hit cancel. And we're gonna choose where we do want it to go. Now it's a filter effect, so it would make sense for us to put it in with some kind of other filter effects. We don't have a filter folder, but I'm gonna put it in with EQs for the time being. So we've now selected EQ, little arrow again, and we are just going to go and hit the same option we did before. So add to plugin database. Fat will be added to this subcategory, EQ. Perfect, so it's now been added in there and it's taken a screenshot of it. We can see it over there on the right. So now I can simply press F8 
bring up the plugin picker and it's just there and I can drag that into my projects nice and quickly. Equally, if you've got too many plugins in, you can't see it, just type F-A-T and it's gonna show up nice and quickly for you and you can just drop it straight in. And that guys is how you add plugins into FL Studio 20 in the year 2020. Hope the video was helpful for you. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys on the next one.